So it's estimated that around 2 million Americans are living with limb loss, like an amputated hand, foot, leg, or arm. Most people rely on some sort of prosthetic limb to function, but while the prosthetics available are good, they're not perfect. So that inspired a trio of Texas high school students to make a better prosthetic. And as Bo Evans found out, it was for one of the best reasons. Sam Skotnikov, Shanyan Kim, and Ishan Dev Prashan have spent the better part of the last 18 months building this. And it's a mind-controlled bionic leg. You heard him right, a prosthetic leg you can control with your brain. We started with paper cups and hot glue and servo. Using this headset, a person can make the leg move and walk. It's a multi-node headset, you know, it records the actual electrical frequencies of the brain. It can also move in ways other prosthetics on the market can't. That can adapt to different terrains. Which has massive implications for people who need prosthetic limbs. But they didn't build this to help millions of amputees. They wanted to help one of their friends. I've had three open heart surgeries. I have scoliosis. I am missing a rib on my right side. I was not expected to live for the first 24 hours of my life. Aiden Ballinger has been fighting for his life since day one. Staying alive was number one on his priority list. Walking may have been number two. Finding friends? No, I did not think I would have friends like this. Friends who build you a brand new leg straight out of a science fiction movie. And I thought down, and then the yeah. leg went down, and then I thought up, and the leg went up. And I, I'm like, okay, this is insane. The boys won a $50,000 scholarship from the Regeneron International Science Fair, hosted by the Society of Science. But they didn't do it for the money or to win a contest. And these kids, it's just surprised me on how much they could put into this. They did it for their friend. Bo Evans, CBS News, Flower Mound, Texas.